Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. She got it. I did, I got it. Subscribe and hit that bell button to join the Bright Army and be part of the Bright and Early Squad. Welcome back, Brights. I'm Sabrina Bright, and today on Terabyte Games, we are playing Beat Swarm Simulator once again. We're gonna try to defeat the stump snail. I heard it's really hard, so uh, let's see if we can do it. Before we do it, let's do a bright like spike. Everybody, say hi to our pet spike and give a little pet on the back. Let's see if we can give him two, 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 two treats. We can do that. I know you can. You guys are amazing. Also, what do you think of our new channel icon? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Alright guys, so some exciting things are gonna happen in this episode because we have two star treats. I'm going to go ahead and make two more bees gifted. I'm trying to decide, because in the last episode we got carpenter bee and stubborn bee, so we could make them both gifted, but also I have this gummy bee right here, and you can't hatch gifted event bees because you can't hatch event bees, so the only way to make it gifted is to give it to star treat. So I'm kind of deciding, I think I want to give only one of my new bees from last episode a star treat and then give the other one, which I'm going to do now, to Gummy Bee because I want to eventually get all gifted event bees. Oh my gosh. We did it, guys. It's like beautiful. Look how beautiful it is. Wait a second. I want to see. What did we even turn that to? Let's find Gummy Bee. So it's gifted hive bonus is a plus 5% honey per pollen. That is actually really good. All right. I'm happy about that. So now I want to give my other one to Carpenter Bee because it's legendary. So my other one is Stubborn Bee, but it's just a rare. So I'm going to give my other star treat to Carpenter Bee. Here we go. Oh, wait. That's not star treat. That's just treats. Star treat. Here we go. Yes. Woo, we got gifted Carpenter Bee. Oh my gosh. That means it is now plus 25% more pollen from tools. What? That's amazing. Oh my gosh. And I have 428 stingers. I just bought a pack in the shop that is limited. It gave me enough tickets to get another star treat, which is why I had two more or two. And it also gave me more stingers, which is amazing because it's been taking me so long to get enough stingers to get Vicious Bee. So today we are finally getting Vicious Bee once and for all from like so long ago. Oh my gosh, I tamed a Vicious Bee. What? I received Vicious Bee egg. All right, so we actually need to evict a bee because I have nowhere near enough honey to buy another hive spot, which I really wish we did, guys. But we're going to have to evict maybe if we have a repeat. Let's see. Do I have a repeat? Hmm. I have two of these, but they're both gifted. Although you guys are telling me that it doesn't count to get another star amulet, which is really sad. So I, I might have to uh, evict one of these gifted looker bees, even though I just feel like I, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, I do have this one here, actually. Demon Bee? The problem with evicting a bee is you lose its level. Demon Bee has an attack of four, which is really, really great. Vicious Bee has an attack of four as well. I wish I could actually have Vicious Bee somewhere else so that we can attack the Stump Snail even better. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Shocked Bee only has an attack of one, so I'm kind of wondering if I should just go ahead and say bye to Shocked Bee for a little bit. All right, guys, we're going to go buy an eviction, and we're going to go ahead and evict Shocked Bee because I want to keep my uh, gifted Looker Bee just in case there's like a small chance that it does help to have it. I don't know, but it, I mean, it, I don't know. I, I'm just scared to get rid of it, okay? And I want to keep my other repeated bee because it has an attack of four. So we're actually just going to evict shocked bee for now, which I feel like isn't, it's, it's not that bad of a thing to do, right? Hopefully I'm making the right decision. All right, we're going to say goodbye to our good friend shocked bee and maybe we'll see shocked bee one day down the line. Here we go. Bye bye. Bye bye, shocked bee. I'm so sorry. But now we have vicious bee. Oh my gosh. This cold blooded bee takes great pleasure in inflicting pain. Perfect. Just what we need, guys. I honestly should have actually saved this uh, star treat for vicious bee. Dang it. Uh, gifted vicious bee. What does that give you? It gives you a uh, minus. Wait, what? 
Oh, minus 15% monster repot spawn times. Oh my gosh, what? So the monsters respawn faster, which is will, you know, help you in the long run. Oh my goodness. Hi, Carlos Andres. Hello. <laughs> I think we may be ready, although I might need to level up my, my vicious bee real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a bunch of treats. Let's give it all these treats here and see what, what we can get it to. How far can we level this thing up? Okay, we got it up to a level three. I wonder what treat vicious bee likes. We got it up to a level four. How far can we get it? Let's just give them all. Aww. All right, I'm on the Wikipedia for the treats and we're gonna see if Vicious Bee, control find Vicious. Oh, I can't find Vicious Bee. So I guess Vicious Bee doesn't really prefer any treats. It's just probably regular treats. All right, so we have a level five Vicious Bee. I really wanna save my blueberries, pineapples, and strawberries and sunflower seeds because I wanna make some ingredients and, and craft some stuff so we can go ahead and try to get some of the newer tools and belts and stuff. So I'm not gonna go ahead and level that up anymore. Hopefully it's strong enough right now to help us, but today we are going to defeat this stump snail once and for all. We haven't even tried before. I don't know why I said once and for all. So the stump snail is a level six. Oh my gosh. 24 million level. Oh my gosh, this thing is giant. Go bees, attack the snow. Wait, why is there two? Is it because someone else is here? Oh, I need that. I need that little angry token there. Someone give me a token. I want to touch it. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to take a while, bro. This is going to take so long. What in the world? <laughs> use code Robzy Rampage. Oh, we're going to use the code Robzy Rampage. Thank you so much for that little tip right there, Dan. We're going to try that real quick and see if how that does. Robzy Rampage. Robzy Rampage. Did it work? Oh my gosh. We uh, got some stingers. We got rage buff times five, focus buff, melody buff, panda bear morph, stump feel. Oh my gosh. Thank you. That is so cool. So it's really easy to not die. This isn't anything like the other monsters where they kind of try to get you. They just go around in a circle, which actually is nice, but you have to wait here for a very long time for your bees to kill it. So this is very anticlimactic and not what I was expecting. But you guys did tell me in the last episode that you just have to stand in the middle and what in the world is happening over there? Guys, do you see that? What is that? I think that snail had too much sugar or coffee. Speaking of coffee, time for me to have my bright juice. Wait, what is this? Is this my... What was that token? Is that my vicious bee? <laughs> okay, this is gonna take a really long time. I don't know if there's anything I can do to help speed up this process. We have a nice little boost going. I have a boost on the stump field, which I didn't even know you could get a boost on this field. So that's new to me and awesome. And that snail is still freaking out. That's very strange. I wonder if there's something in there. Can I go in? <gasps> did I just get something? What did I get? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I got anything. <laughs> it feel like I'm barely attacking this thing. I need like, oh, I don't know what I need. This is gonna take forever. I can't believe I finally got Vicious Bee. Guys, you don't understand. I've been wanting Vicious Bee for so long. I've been trying to do it without Robux. I got almost there. I literally only needed 25 more, but it was taking so long and I hadn't played the game in a while. So um, I'm super excited that we got some stingers in the pack that I bought with Robux. And I, I really tried not to do anything with Robux, but I was like, you know what? Today we are accomplishing things. <laughs> We're going to get that B because I only needed 25 more. It's just that it's it's so rare to see them pop up and they get, get a stinger. We get like one to three stingers every time or something and it's takes so long. My next goal though is to definitely get a higher star amulet. Um, a lot of people already have the diamond one, the highest one, and I definitely want to try to get the supreme amulet for the ant challenge. So those will definitely help. And if I keep getting new moon amulets, I think that it goes up every time. So I'll definitely get some better stats out of that as well. How many moon charms do I have now? I actually have 34 moon charms. So if I just collect some moon charms, not too long from now, I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to get a new moon charm. That would be really nice. Oh my goodness, hello! How are you? Nice hat! <laughs> I died? No, don't- Oh my gosh, I'm I dead. Oh no, don't die! <laughs> oh yeah, sprinklers! <gasps> I want to put a sprinkler here and a sprinkler... There we go. That's something else I can do is get better sprinklers, but the next thing I want to upgrade though 
is maybe like maybe the belt or the guards or the boots i think there's new boots i'm not sure unless i already have those no i don't i definitely have a lot of upgrading i can do so which one am i like attacking because i don't even know there's three snails now what if everybody in the server came here there'd be snails everywhere whoa that snail's faster than that snail guys Come on, bees. I don't see the HP going down at all. Okay, there we go. That one's going down. So the second snail is actually my snail. I didn't realize this was going to take this long. Oh, boy. I think it's time for me to pause the recording. Well, a moon sprout has sprouted here. That is very cool and shiny. And I must break that. Oh, no. My, my bag's actually going to be full soon. Oh, my goodness. I still haven't even barely, like, hurt the snail. Like, what is going on? The snail's still at 24 million. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this, Bryce. How do I even get strong enough to beat this thing? There's gotta be a trick to it. The reward from defeating this must be insane. Oh, I just got a vicious bee token. Hopefully that helps. My bag's about to be full. I'm not gonna be able to break the rest of this. Oh no, my container's full. If I leave, will it... It'll probably, like, the snail will probably start over. I'm scared to leave. Ooh. Bright juice has arrived. <laughs> okay, so they're telling me the HP saves on the stump snail. So I'm gonna hopefully count on that. And, <laughs> and we're gonna go back and empty my bag because it's full. Hopefully we don't have to start over with the snail. If so, I'm gonna be very sad. Also, how do I make my bees more powerful on attack? It's like, I wish I could get, like, a ton of vicious bees. That would be really helpful. You got all the pets of Bubblegum Simulator? No, I did not yet. Um, the last time I played was the last time I uploaded a video of me playing it, so you guys know where I left off. I think I still have three more to discover, and I definitely need to do that before the game updates again because I want to be on top of it. I'm not trying to be greedy or anything. I'm just trying to be the very best, okay? It's just like my goal to try to discover every single pet. All right, we're back. Um, oh, the HP did save. Okay, that is very good to know. Very good to know. Awesome. I love you guys for all the information you give me. Thank you for the help. All right, are we ready, guys? We're ready to break this once and for all. It's been here all day. Yay, come on. Here it goes. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, why are they like glowing? That is so cool. Give me all these moon tarps. Woo. I don't know why I just wooed like that. That was very cringy. It's just, I'm excited, okay? Moon charms because we need to get more moon amulets because, duh, moon amulets are gonna help us in our journey here in Beast Swarm. We need a better moon moon amulet. That was very helpful. We now have, we have a lot of items. Oh my goodness. We now have 46 moon charms, so we're getting pretty close. We're halfway to getting another amulet. All we have to do now is like every time it's nighttime, Go to the fireflies. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here and I will be back when I, if I decide either I'm gonna follow through with the stump snail or if we're just gonna give up and try to make our bees stronger because I don't know how I'm gonna beat this. This is gonna take all night. So Dan's saying, have you used the code secret profile code? So let's go ahead and do it because I have not used it yet. Secret profile code. See what that gives us. Wow, we got an ant pass, a shock bee jelly, activated oil buff, glue buff, and enzymes buff. Cool. Thank you for that code. I don't really know what the, the oil and the glue and the enzymes um, buff means, but I have no idea, guys. Look at all my stuff down here, though. Holy moly. Oh, wow. It's giving me uh, bee speed and player move speed. And then this is giving me pollen and, and bees and tools. The enzymes give me more uh, conversion. It's a conversion and conversion rate. So that's good. Can we get it down to 23 million by now? Come on. It's been all day. All right, guys, so I just went ahead and bought another pack because I uh, really wanted to make Vicious Bee gifted and there was a pack that offered one star treat in it. So I bought it and just give that star treat to Vicious Bee. I have 18 gifted bees. I only need two more and I could get the gold star amulet. So I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but whoa, I have magic beans. I got that from the pack. The only other two packs I could buy is the sparkly starter pack and the extreme ex extract pack. But those both are not gonna give me enough to get another star treat. So I need two 
two more somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna get two more, but we need to do it, Brights. So I just found out it takes days to beat the stump snail. It saves your HP on it, which is cool. So I I'm wondering, can you leave the game and come back? I thought I was gonna be able to do it in this video, but uh, I was wrong. But we'd still learned a lot about the stump snail. And I'm also gonna go ahead and see if I can do anything to get this. We need 500 strawberries. How many do we have? We only have 84 strawberries. We need 50 of that. We have 25 en enzymes and we have enough glue. We don't have enough of these though, uh, red extract and strawberries. Let's see if I can actually afford the blue version. Let's see. We're gonna check over here at the bubble mask. How many blueberries do I have? I have 49 and I need 500. Dang, these are hard to get, huh? My goodness. Why are they so tough? All right, let's go over here. I'm gonna check out the shop over here. In the last episode, I didn't realize, but this is a shop over here. <laughs> I can't believe it. I didn't realize that this was a shop, but we're gonna go ahead and check out this these things. So we need 100 blue extract enzymes for, er, extract from this. We need 100 stingers, which I have 180 stingers, so that we're good on that, we're good on this, and we're actually good on glitter. We just need some more blue extract. Um, so let's see, what about the honeycomb belt? Ooh, I might be able to get this! Wait, hold on, hold on. How much of this do I need? So I have enough, I have just enough enzymes. I have just enough glue. What about the oil? Wait, I have enough oil! Then why does it say I can't afford it? Oh, it's 75 million honey, plus those ingredients. Oh my gosh, I actually am not that far away from getting the belt. Oh my gosh, we gotta get the honeycomb belt, guys. And then this one's gonna be kind of hard to get. <laughs> like, really hard to get. So we're gonna go for the belt in this episode. How about that? All right, so all I need to do is just get a little bit more honey. So what I'm gonna do is just go back to this stump field because I, I did have a boost. I guess it's gone by now, but we're gonna go there and work on the stump snail while we actually get pollen and save up. So I'll be right back when I have enough because this could take a while. All right, Bryce, I now have 71 million. I'm about to have a little bit more. I also collected about three different badges. Don't forget to collect your badges. If you don't know what that is, it's a little icon in the top left called badges. And once you hit a certain goal, you can click collect, but you have to spend tickets to collect it, but it ups your percentage or collection for certain different things that will really help you out. So it really helps to keep upgrading those badges. So I'm pretty, pretty happy I got to upgrade a few of them. As for my star journey, I'm still in Star Journey 3. I've completed everything but the blue boost tokens and I've got 5,038 out of 7,500 blue boost tokens and those are taking forever to get. But soon I will have enough. But let's go ahead and get ourselves some new gear. We are getting the honeycomb belt. This is really awesome because first of all, it looks really cool. And I just haven't upgraded my stuff in a while. So I'm super excited to do this. Let's go ahead and wait, 75 million? I thought it was 70 million. Oh my gosh what a letdown it's okay guys it's okay i have 72 million and i still have a blue i still have a boost going on this pumpkin field over here it's not very much longer but we could probably fill up our our backpack enough like before it's out let's do this i already have 73 million honey right wait it's going slower than i thought oh we're getting some blue boost tokens though that that's helpful and we just had we just hit 73 million all right so if i go ahead and go sell now i probably have enough because I I almost have 74 so I think once I sell this I will have enough hopefully it wasn't a mistake to leave too soon I'm just so excited to get the belt I want to hurry come on get to work bees make the honey all right we only need 1 million more honey come on and oh my gosh oh my gosh we hit 75 million we did it guys we finally got enough I thought it was 70 million, so my bad, but at least it wasn't like way off. I would have been very sad if it was like 100 million or something, and I would have had a lot more work to do. Let's go ahead and get this amazing looking belt. So this belt gives you plus 100,000 container space, plus 25% container space. Wait, so, wait, hold on. You get plus 100,000 and plus 25%. Hmm, I wonder how much I'm actually gonna get, because right now my container space is like 2 million something. It's kind of amazing. You also get plus 150% conversion rate, plus 10% buzz bomb pollen, plus 50% honey, honey from tokens, and plus 2% critical chance. Let's go ahead and craft this item. Equipped! Received honey belt bag! <gasps> Whoa! Dude, that looks sick. Oh my gosh. That looks, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. She got it. I did, I got it. I got it. Oh my gosh. Let's do a little dance. 
Yeah. <laughs> we did it, Brights. We got a honey belt back. We made some progress with our stump snail. Too bad we can't beat it very easily. I got three new gifted bees. And I feel like we're making a lot of progress. I got vicious bee finally. It's taken me so long to get vicious bee. I'm so glad we got it. And uh, I just crafted my first item with all the stuff since the crafting stuff was added to the, to the game. So that's awesome. Now I just got a lot more work to do. My next goal basically is obviously I want to defeat the stump snail and see what we get from that. But I want to start working on upgrading my amulets. So I already have a diamond ant amulet, which is pretty good. We could upgrade it one more to the supreme one. I need to upgrade my moon charms. Um, which shouldn't be too, too hard. And I need to definitely upgrade my star amulet. I only need two more gifted bees. I don't know how I'm gonna get enough tickets to get two more gifted bees though. It's so tough. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. The easiest way to get gifted bees and get tickets other than breaking a bunch of sprouts. It takes a while to do that, but I guess that's all we can do, guys. I wanna work on my amulets. I want to get another hive spot and I wanna level all of my bees up to like level nine. <laughs> that would be really hard but I want like a ton of level 9 bees that would really help me out maybe like all my gifted bees I can make a level 9 or something if you have anything you want me to work on leave it in the comments but I definitely need to get some more gear that gear looks awesome in the in the ace shop I really need to start saving some stuff up but I'm gonna end it here if you're new make sure you do hit that subscribe button to join the bright army don't forget to turn notifications on so you don't miss when videos come out and binge watch some videos you may have missed thanks so much for watching guys have a more Day. Bye.